That's right, Brandon. Debbie Thornhill tells me that she was laying with her granddaughter when she got out to look through this front door right here. And it wasn't until seconds later that this massive tree fell on her granddaughter's room. So basically where that board is usually where her head is laying. The uh, tree had knocked her in the rafters and shut the door. And, uh, but uh, she just happened to jump up because she heard me talking and, uh, or heard me yelling. And so she got out of the bed and if she hadn't have, you know, we might have lost her. The homeowner tells me her and her husband had to break their granddaughter's door to get to her. And she was just drenched and had insulation all over her hair, you know, and, and, uh, but she was really a trooper. There's another stick under here that pushed the door to, so we had to, uh, shove it open to get her out. Five-year-old Emerson walked away unharmed. She's She's okay. She will be six in August. Now the Thornhill family is spending the day picking up the pieces of their home. So right now I'm concentrating on trying to trying to save what we can save out of the house. It, it's kind of hard to uh, to know what you need to get yeah. mm -hmm. whenever you, you don't know and you've never been in this situation before. And they aren't the only ones in the neighborhood cleaning up. Uh, we've been out here since 7:30. Samaritan's Purse landed in Northwest Arkansas early this morning and has been sending volunteers out to help clear neighborhoods. Most people saying they've never seen anything like this. Now the damage is actually it's really kind of jaw dropping when you see how many roots are in the ground and pulled up from trees and trees on top of cars and uh, just limbs hanging around everybody else's thing. So yeah, it's 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 actually pretty crazy to look back and see all the things. Thornhill tells me that right now it is still unsafe to stay in her home because as the as the tree settles more, there is causing more damage as the days go by. So right now her and her husband are staying with their daughter until they figure out their next steps. Now coming up at six, learn not only how you can volunteer with Samaritan's Purse, but how to sign up for a work order if you need it. Live in Rogers, Katani Gooch, 4029 News.